Hey guys, I'm Z85. Tonight I'm going to talk about the Gen 2 Z360 sling mount by Tactical Link. And basically what this is, you can see it here, it goes over the receiver extension or buffer tube and against the end plate. And see how it's angled here and it uses a quick detach for attaching a sling. And if you've been a subscriber to me for a while, you know that I used to use the Magpul ASAP, but couldn't stand this noise. So I did some research, came across this one from Tactical Link, and I couldn't be happier. So let me bring you back to the tabletop here in a moment. I'm going to talk about it. First, I'm going to show you how to install it. So the installation of the Z360 Gen 2 is extremely easy. All you need to do is remove your buttstock, and we all know how simple that is. So you got your receiver extension here, and in this case I have a stake castle nut. So that's why this is cool, is that you don't need to remove anything, just the buttstock. You have your top half here, and notice it has these two protruding areas. Those are going to sit here to keep it from rotating. And you're just going to come from the rear and slide this forward. Pretty simple. Take the bottom piece here. It has the little oval that fits into the area on your end plate. And that's going to come from the bottom. And it just kind of snaps into place. And you got your two screws. And these actually already have the uh, thread locking compound on them. And it's literally as simple as just screwing these in. And what I like to do is I, I screw in one side just until it starts getting a little bit snug. And then I'll stop and go to the other side and do that one until it's just a little bit snug. Everything's centered and locked in place there. And I have a, a fat wrench, a Wheeler fat wrench that you can actually set. This is a torque wrench for 22 inch pounds and give these the final torque. There's that side and that side. That's it guys. That's literally all it takes to install this and that's why I like it so much. So let's go back to the tabletop and I'll talk a little bit more about it. So now that we have it installed let me talk about it a little bit more. First of all the profile may seem bigger to you viewing this on camera, but to be completely honest, it's really no bigger than my STR stock profile. So it's not cumbersome at all, or at least I don't find it cumbersome. Secondly, is that there's no sharp edges. There's not going to be any snags. You're not going to be able to snag anything on it because everything just comes rounded off here. These tabs on the upper half allows it to be very securely locked in place. I mean, you cannot rotate this. The combination of these being up against the castle nut and the oval piece being in the oval piece of your end plate, it's not going to rotate at all. This is extremely solid. The stock can be extended all the way out and it can also be extended up to the second closest notch and that's also the case if you have your sling installed which I have my I'll be doing a separate review on this as well but I have my tactical link sling here my single point sling and that still allows you that second point and gives you still really great range now because this lower half is angled slightly downward whereas most end plates that you'll see that are that require you to remove everything to replace it with a QD end plate they're going to be facing straight back or to the side being straight back is going to allow you good range but because this is angled I find that it gives me the ability when it's when it's hanging to have a little bit better range of motion but that's just me personally and again for those of you who really like a short length of pole, it lets you get right up in there without 
it affecting any movement at all. The lockup is really good. There's no issues there. I have had zero issues with that. And it also is extremely smooth. It spins very smoothly. In fact, it even spins smoother than the QD attachment point that I have in my Wilson Combat trim rail. Yeah, it's definitely smoother than that. And that's probably in part to the stainless steel that appears to be polished. So, definitely a plus there for me. If you guys have any questions or comments in reference to anything you see here or specifically to the Z360 Gen 2 mount by Tactical Link, please just leave a comment or send me a PM. I'd be happy to try and answer your question. And hopefully you guys found this helpful. Uh, specifically those of you who don't want a monkey with removing your staked castle nut or your end plate maybe you're in the military and that's something you can't do this is definitely gonna fix that issue since all you have to do is remove your buttstock hope you guys enjoyed this video have a good day I used to use the Magpul ASAP but couldn't stand this noise